Hello everyone, welcome back to ServiceNow 911. Today we are discussing database views. So what are database views? It is just a combination of more than one table so that you can integrate the data and display it in the form of reports. How in the form of reports? Let me show you. This is my instance. If you go to the report, all of these reports you see are based on only one table. But in case your data is residing in more than one table, somehow related to each other, but but you are not able to report on it because ServiceNow supports only one table in report. So in that case, you need a database view where you can combine more than one tables and get the desired result. You can think of many such relationships, right? If you see relationship in CMDB classes, if you see relationship in parent child table, so all these options are there where you see the requirement of using more than one table and getting a single report. So that's what database view is doing. Let me show you the database views table. Under system definition, we have database views. Click on it. This is demonstration instance, so you will see some out of box uh, database view provided by ServiceNow. You see here, there are total 60. So let me show you one of the common one that is incident metrics. So this database view is combining three tables. You see, this is the name, In the name you have to provide. This is the description. These are the labels, just like we have in tables, okay? And at bottom, you see various tables which we have linked, okay? So there are total three tables, metric definition, then metric instance, then incident. So let me show you the real example. Let me open an incident. So in the incident at the bottom, you see one tab here. This is the related list of matrices. So all these matrices are there. So in this matrices, three tables are related. So you see, first of all, the incident table, then the definition of matrix. And this is what the instance of that definition in incident. Okay. So based on certain conditions, these matrices get attached. So here I want to combine all these three tables. So that's what I do. Okay. So you see, let me open one of the table here. Just look at how these three tables are related. So in the metric definition for every table, you have to provide the table and the prefix you need and where clause is very important. So here what I'm doing, MD, MD underscore table. So table is the name of the field in the MD table that is matrix definition table. So if I open metric definition, this is metric definition. In metric definition, you see this is the table field. So that's what we have specified that we are looking for metric definition table equal to incident. Then we are going to metric instance. For every definition, there is an ins instance. So for metric instance, we have MI. This is a prefix. Then in where clause, you see MI underscore definition. It means definition must be a field in the metric instance table. So for this incident, we have this metric instances. So here you see the definition field. So metric instance underscore definition. So what it is looking for? Metric instance definition must be equal to metric definition society. It means so by using this where clause, we are linking the metric instance to the metric definition means its respective matrix definition. And then finally, we have incident here. So whatever metric instance ID is there, it should be equal to the sys ID of the incident. That is, let me show you the metric instance. So this is metric definition ID. It is referencing to the incident table. So the sys ID of incident must be equal to this. So we are just finding the respective incident which are related to that particular metric instance. Once you are done with all these where clauses, just click on try it. It will give you the data of all these three tables into a single table that is incident matrix. This is the name of our database view. Okay. But remember one thing 
you can report on this means you can read all this data but you cannot modify this data at any moment the modification of data in the database view is not allowed so now you have your database view ready so now you have the database view ready you can create a report and send it over so i think you understand what is database view if you have any question please let us know in the comment section see you in next video till then bye bye